Hey friends, Osiris here, and in today's video, we're going over all the details with how you can complete the post-game played quest and get the legendary Pokemon Cresselia, Heatran, Regigigas, and the three Lake Spirits in Pokemon Legends Arceus. So we got a bunch of legendaries to go after. This is post-game content. So before we get into this, if you are not this far into your playthrough and you want to avoid spoilers, obviously maybe this is a video that you want to save and come back to later. Now, once you've beat Dialga and Palkia and you've seen the end credits roll, you come back into the game, you're going to be in Jubilife Village and you're going to be introduced to a bunch of cutscenes, kind of summarizing that you're uh, continuing your Pokedex research. Volo will introduce himself, one of the Grinko traders from your main playthrough and offer his service is to help you track down the legendaries and the plates. You'll have a cutscene with him in Obsidian Fieldlands and he'll direct you to the first plate in the post game where you get the stone plate after defeating a Alpha Vespa Queen. After this sequence, you'll then go to the Ancient Retreat with Volo. He'll introduce you to a character called Kohita. She'll give you five clues for five different plates. Now, uh, four of these clues refer to legendary Pokemon. One of them, not so much. We'll get to that in a second. But each of these clues, you're going to see that there is the three lake Pokemon, which refer to Azelf, Uxie, and Mez Spirit. Then you've got the Volcano, which refers to Heatran, the Crescent Moon, which is Cresselia, and then the Temple Giant, which is Regigigas. Now, you're going to be able to catch all of these legendary Pokemon in the game. Unfortunately, they are all shiny locked. So don't waste your time kind of soft resetting for these Pokemon, saving in front of them, resetting your game over again, because none of these Pokemon are going to be able to be shiny. By by completing each of these kind of side quests, you're going to get a plate irrespective of these legendaries as well, which is going to help you kind of get to that end game. Now you can click into each one of these clues, which is going to give you and it'll kind of elaborate a little bit more detail about where to get these Pokemon. Now, first of all, we're going to go back to Jubilife Village, and this kind of ties into the other clue there, the beginning. So when you come back to Jubilife Village before you can head out to catch these legendaries, you're going to be greeted by Kameda, who is going to ask you to meet him down on Prelude Beach. Now, if you head down to this, area first you're going to have to engage in a battle with him just make sure before you go down to prelude beach that you have a good strong team because he's going to have five very strong high level pokemon he's going to have between level 65 and 66 he's going to have a golem a heracross a snorlax a clefable and a hisuian braviary so just make sure like i say you've got your team kind of set up to beat him and once you do defeat Kamado in battle at prelude beach you'll be given the fist plates now after you've Beat Kamado, you want to make your way back to the main entrance of Jubilee Village and click into the map. So we're going to go after the Lake Trio first. Uh, we'll head up to the Alabaster Icelands. As you can see in here, we're going to have Lake Acuity is where the Uxie will be located. So if you just head to this area... And then we want to make our way up to Lake Acuity. It is going to be easier if you just head up to the Pearl Settlement in this area. Just fly there, then it really cuts down the travel time. To now we just want to fly over into the middle of the lake. And we know this is the location from our kind of main story. And we want to just head inside the cavern. Now when you first come inside the cavern, you're going to be introduced to Uxie will appear, uh, but as you can see, there's kind of a red mark over Uxie, so you're not going to be able to just throw a Pokeball at it. The best way that I found was just to engage in battle with it. So just throwing a Pokemon at it, as you can see here, I'm just throwing my Palkia at it, and then I proceed to battle it. Just be aware that these are all, all of the legendaries that we're going in this quest are going to be level 70. They're all pretty strong, so you're going to need a decent team behind you to kind of battle them. All right, that's Palkia down. So let's try Gudra. Let's see if we can get you to come in. Okay, so we've got, yeah, we're going to get it right down in the red. Now we can try an Ultra Ball. Let's see if this is going to be it. I'm not really too sure on the catch rates of these legendaries. Hopefully they're not too high. Nope. Try again. Nope. Okay, and that's Gudra down now. So we lost Gudra. Ha. <sighs> I don't know how well the rest of the team is going to fare. We might need to use a revive on Gudra now. So if we revive Gudra, we'll get it back in. These attacks. Gudra, yep, yeah, back on the field. Ultra Ball, let's try one more time. Pop up and... Yeah, there we go. We got Uxie. So Uxie caught, which is great. And there are two more Lake Pokemon ready to catch. It was actually a lot harder than what I thought. Um... As I say, I don't know the catch rates for these Pokemon, but we have got Uxie and we'll now make our way back to Jubilee Village. 
So next up, we'll head down to the Obsidian Field Lands. And when we're here, we'll be going to Lake Ver Verity uh, is where we'll be heading to. So it's not too far from the base camp itself. Uh, you can just fly there. It's pretty easy to get to. And we'll be going after Miss Spirit. Again, we just want to head to the main cavern. And coming into this, I was kind of curious to know whether uh, Miss Spirit would start roaming around the Hisui region. Because every other game that Miss Spirit's been kind of included in, when you encounter it, it starts to roam around the area. And you have to go and chase after it after you've had that first encounter. Okay, we enter the cavern. Are we going to see it roam and disappear? Are we going to be able to get this Miss Spirit? <laughs> No, just able to engage in battle with it. So we'll start with Gudra here. It was so good against Uxi. Unfortunate thing, it's actually got recover. So this makes it even more difficult. Okay, we've got it at a point now where it hasn't recovered. I think it's a good point to ultra ball it right now. So let's see if we can get lucky and catch it. Because this is the first one. So I don't expect us to. One... We, we managed to get it. Okay, that's good. That's good. That was a tough battle. Lots of uh, potions were used in that scenario. So we've got, there is one more Lake Pokemon to get. So let's again head out of this cavern and make our way back to Jubilife Village. And we'll make our way to our last lake to get a Zelf. And that is in the Crimson Mirrorlands. And that is going to be at Lake Vala. Now we're in the Crimson Mirrorlands. We want to just put the pin down on Lake Valor just so it's easier to kind of get to. You can actually fly to the diamond settlement here because it does make it a little easier, a little quicker to get to. And once we're at Lake Valor, we just again fly to the central cavern and we'll be able to go in after a Zelf. So Zelf out of the three of them, still level 70 going in. Remember, none of these are uh, possible to get as shinies. But again, as we enter the cavern, you see that Zelf just kind of pops up and is going to start attacking us. But we can engage with it if we just start a Pokemon battle. And that's an easy way to kind of just lock it in. So you can get its HP down and then capture it again like we have done with the other two. So, hey, Gudra, let's go. Oh, that's a nice bit of damage, that. That is big damage. Let's try an Ultra Ball now. Don't think it's got recover, so we should be all right. Let's see. One. No. Let's try again. Second one. Can we get it? Come on, is Elf. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's all three of the Lake Trio got now. So hopefully that's the third one. Let's see what we get. Okay, there we go. You obtained the Draco plate. Brilliant. So... That's one plate down, and that's the plate of the lakes complete. Right, and we got three legendaries there. Based on Kohita's hints, there might be three more plates for you left to find. Okay, that makes sense. Now we'll go and get ourselves a Heatran. And come on, so again, we'll just head back to Jubilife Village because we're going to have to go to the Colbert Coastlands. Okay, the Colbert Coastlands, as soon as you get here, we notice there's actually another cutscene in regards to this kind of side quest here. As we have Polina and Irida uh, approach us and they kind of summarize that there's some fishy business going on over at the Fire Pit Island. Once we finish this cutscene here, we can make our way over to Fire Pit Island. If you've already been there, you're going to be able to just fly directly there. So you don't need to waste time actually flying across. And um, what you want to do when you're here is you want to make your way around to this vol the back of the volcano area here. Iskan and Arida will approach us and tell us all about the Lava Dome Sanctum and a Pokemon in this area. So which is kind of indicating that it'll be Heatran. So after the cutscene has finished, we want to make our way down into this area. And as you can see, Heatran is down here, but Heatran is a bit of a tricky Pokemon because it is kind of covered in fire. So we're not going to be able to just throw a Pokeball at it um, to engage in a battle like we have done with the Azelf and the Uxie and the Mez Spirit. What we're going to have to do is yeah, we're going to have to use, if you run around the cavern here, what I figured out was there's lots of mud balls, uh, balls of mud. So if you pick these balls of mud up, what you're going to be able to do is kind of target Heatran, try and avoid the attacks because they hit pretty hard and it's a pretty scary Pokemon moving pretty fast. But if you use the mud balls to kind of stun it, that is going to give you the opportunity to either throw a Pokeball at it or just engage it in battle. So I've decided to engage in battle with it. Let's try an Ultra Ball. And we get it. Okay. And we get the iron plate for getting the Heatran. And look, there we go. We got another nice little cutscene with Idra and Iskan. So 
Uh, okay, the island is now cooling down because Arcanine and Heatran aren't making the place like an absolute lava pit. So, with that done, that is four of the six legendaries. We're getting six, yeah, six. So, this time around, we're going to go after Cresselia and we're going to go to Coronite Highlands. And okay, so you want to head up to the moon view area. And when you get here, you're going to be greeted by um, Meli and Calibre, it looks like. So the two NPC characters here, if we just approach them, then we're gonna enter another cutscene. I don't suppose a grunt like you would even know, but I guess a blur uh, behoves me to ask, do you know a Pokemon called Cresselia? I do, we do, in fact, don't we? So we just do this cutscene. Well, I figured you'd know, I wouldn't expect any less from someone who managed to defeat uh, me, even if it was lucky. Uh, Cresselia is said to be the embodiment of the crescent moon. Her feathers are called lunar feathers, and legends say that if you hold one, as you fall asleep, you'll be visited by wondrous dreams. Okay, so Cresselia must be already in the location here. Well, I call her a nightmare. That pesky Cresselia has, she's descended upon Moonview area and caused my lord to hide inside. So I'm worried about the electrode that I can't even sleep. Never mind. Right, well, this means I uh, think you might be able to catch Cresselia and perhaps even claim one of those feathers. So. Let's go ahead and try and catch Cresselia. Let's see if we can approach it. Got this nice cutscene, there's Cresselia, and we'll be able to kind of engage with it. I wonder if we're gonna to have to do anything different to the other battles. Okay, so when you come into the area with Cresselia, the way that I approached this was you kind of got to be a little bit careful because Cresselia will fire out psychic attacks at you. You've got a force field around her as well. And if you get hit with one of the psychic attacks, it kind of skews up all your controllers. So like up is down and down is up and left is right, etc. So it does wear off after a few seconds. But to engage with Cresselia, the best thing to do is to kind of stun it with either a Pokeball, or you can just throw a Pokeball at it, or one of the kind of throw items like your Mud Ball, your Spoiled Apricot or something like that so you just want to engage in battle with it i think it's best way to approach it it was the easiest way for myself to do cresselia um, and then just whittle its hp down and throw an ultra ball at it oh we can see that gudra's got it down to a decent level here um i don't think we need to attack it anymore i think now we can just try and throw an ultra ball at it and one ultra ball are we going to get it like the other ones hopefully is the case see i don't think the catch rates are that high on these and we do get Cresselia so there we go and because of this we get the dread plate and um, so once you beat Cresselia you get the dread plate and that leaves one more legendary to go okay now with Cresselia we need to go after Regigigas and Regigigas from the clue is at Snow Point Temple so we'll head back to Jubilife Village once again and then we can make our way up to Snow Point Temple which is in the Alabaster Icelands Again, when you're here, it's probably better just to kind of skip up to the Pearl Settlement. That puts you a lot closer. So you've got less travel distance from here. And when you reach the temple, you just start to kind of head inside. Okay, so once you're inside the temple, you want to just make your way towards like the northwest area of the room. Uh, and this will, you'll kind of see a staircase going up. But at this stage, you want to just turn right. And this will bring you to a big door and you can't get through it but a cutscene will kind of commence as you can see now Adama and Sabi will come into the area and they'll kind of explain and summarize that the door has been locked and no one's been able to open it so after the cutscene you want to just approach it just press A investigate and because you've already got the relevant plates to open this door it will finally open allowing you to go down into the the basement area of the temple so you want to just follow the staircase down go to the right go to the right and down again until you come to a staircase where you see Adama and Sabi at the bottom of it and this will indicate that this is the room where Reggie Gigas is and you want to make your way into this area now when you come into this area you're going to have a little cutscene again with Sabi and Adama uh, they're going to kind of be confused is this a Pokemon it is a Pokemon you know sort of thing but unlike the other legendaries that you've just encountered you're not going to be able to have any sort of interaction with Regigigas other than walking up and battling with it you can't kind of stun it it's not going to interact with you it's not going to battle you or anything like that so it's a bit of an old school mechanic it's a static encounter this one completely so just walk up to it engage in battle with it and then the only way is to whittle it down just make sure you've got a lot of kind of potions and and ways to recover your pokemon because obviously these pokemon are level 70 and they can hit pretty hard so um you, you can see it can be quite
quite difficult. Even though we've got Gudra here, which is a steel type, it's going to resist most moves from the Regigigas. It's still going to be quite difficult. So Gudra got it down to a nice kind of level. We are going to Ultra Ball it now. Up one. Okay, that's Cresselia, Heatra, and Regigigas, Mez Spirit, Yuxi, and Azelf. So that's six legendaries all in one little side quest. Not too difficult to get. And as well as that, we've got one, two, three, four plates on top of that, with a fifth one being the fist plate from when we battled Kamido the, uh, earlier when we went back to Jubilee Village. So we've got pretty much all the plates. I think we're only missing one right now. So what we can do at this point is head back and speak to Kohita to say that we've got all the plates and that the kind of side quest has been done. So you want to head back to the ancient retreat and when you head back to the ancient retreat you want to kind of just come into Kohita's house and she's going to engage in a bit of conversation with you here just to say have you got all of the plates so far. Um, here you are again. Have you collected all of the plates? Of course, Osiris is a famed member of the Survey Corps, after all. So what more can you tell us? So now you must know about the plates. If there's yet more you want to know, kindly bring me wood. Three logs will do. Okay, so that is the next challenge. I guess to get the last plate is logs. Wood. So you're saying wood is somehow tied to the plates, Volo says. Uh, well, suppose that's what we have to get. And even though he's a merchant, a Grinko trader, we, he hasn't got any wood, unfortunately, this, this time around. It would have made it a lot easier, right? So what you do is you have to exit. Now, wood's something that's available everywhere around the Hisu region. There are some areas where you can get wood easier than others, and I'll show you a quick place now. So you just want to make your way back to Jubilife Village because the next place that we're going to go is over to the Colbot coastline. Once you're here, what you want to do is just get on your weird deer or you can fly whichever way you want. It's probably easier to get on weird deer because then you're not going to miss the wood. But you want to be heading out to the left when you leave the main campsite and come into this area over here. And I can guarantee that you will find bits of wood around this area. Okay, so you want to be heading to this l little area over here. You want to be coming past the Machamp and the Machops. The Machoks and the Machamps. Oh, just ignore me, you know, the Machops. And you want to come to this little ridge here. There's always going to be a bit of wood here uh, that you're always going to be able to collect. So this is where you want to be coming. I'll show you on the map exactly where it is. You want to just come right down into here and it's located literally here. This is where there's always a bit of wood. So to get it again, what you can do is just go back to Jubilee Village and then come back to this area, collect it again. If you need three, uh, it's easy enough to do and it's probably the quickest way to do it. So once you've got the three bits of wood what you want to do is then head back to the ancient retreat okay now you're back at the ancient retreat you want to just make your way up to kahita's house and you want to speak to her she'll just ask you if you've got the logs and you hand them over and in the cutscene here she'll talk about thanking you for the logs volo will talk about the plates again and then mysteriously Koida will be able to turn the three logs that you've just given her into somehow the pixie plate and she doesn't even realize this either but then you end up getting the pixie plate so it means you've pretty much got all of the plates that you require at this stage and the next thing to do after this cutscene would be head up to Celestic Ruins in the Coronet area. So that wraps up this guide friends but we managed to get all the plates as well as catching a bunch of really awesome legendaries in this this game so we can just take a little recap so friends here we go we have all our legendaries there you can see we've got Heatran, Regigigas, Cresselia, Uxi, Mez Spirit and Azelf that's all the legendaries that we've caught in today's guide as well as getting a hold of all of the plates that we required from that side quest so lots of legendaries available in Arceus Legends there's still more to go and we'll be back very soon with the next stage in this little side quest so stay tuned friends we'll be back as i say hope you found today's guide useful if, if you have found it useful please do me a favor and drop a like on the video it really helps do think about subscribing to the channel as well and hit that notification bell if you don't want to miss any more guides coming out on legends arceus because we've got a boatload on the way so thanks again friends take care of yourselves and i'll see you all for another episode very soon so until then take care bye bye